Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday here, uh, August 12th. Looking at these fixed income charts pretty closely. Uh, big, big red day in ZN. Equally big red day in ZB. ZB traded up to 31 on 179, down to 31 on 178. Short, got to be short this shit. Um, you can trade it. There's pretty good vol, especially in ZB. There's good vol. Um, ZN's more of a slug. Uh, but you want to trade this short side. Um, we're targeting uh, 170 on this move here, so I think we'll probably get a little bit below this 171, the figure line here. Same thing, uh, BTPs, bearish engulfed. See if we confirm today if we get prices below 42, uh, but short Italian fixed income as well. Bitcoin took a bit of a digger yesterday and kind of bounced back a little bit. We're going to have to um, stick stick some bids in in that right, a little 10-5 area on the day. Um, still the same idea this will just be a tactical trade um, every Monday we buy a little bit more Bitcoin uh, on a dollar cost averaging deal and, uh, and that usually depends a lot on the P&L for the week um, sort of extra P&L we just chuck into Bitcoin um, at least a portion of it so 10.5 though today looks like a good place to buy on a tactical sort of one to two day trade some money should be be able to be made there let's take a look at euro here u.s rates higher um gold getting smoked this line now is uh, this horizontal line now is at risk 116.96 this actually might trade at the open today uh has the makings of a break trade, but currencies have really been sidelined, um, sidelined of late. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens there. But interesting point one sixteen ninety six. We talked about dollar Swiss yesterday. Short ZN, long dollar Swiss. Got a little bit of a dick in a box there in the beginning. Um, with this move down to 91.05. When we first made the call, we were up at 91.40. So there was, you had to wear 25 points. But once we saw this turn here, um, things cleared out, obviously. But it just shows you what a, what a dick in a box Dollar Swiss is owed to the old Justin Timberlake skit. That was Euro Swiss. It went from 58 to some idiotic, something like 40 given. Euro was dicking around with those expiries up at 118. Um, anyway, this has legs now. This is going to continue. Um, the weird thing about this is the market has this. The locals all bought down here. Um, at 91 weird how the, the Swiss retail or the Swiss locals sometimes get it so right um, so this will be a grind next interesting point is 92.45 uh, we don't see any real resistance until 93.60 you want to try and be core long um, dollar Swiss if you can Kiwi rates last night. I didn't even watch it. I thought they might be a little bit more hawkish, but by the looks of this chart, they were not. What is this? Uh, this is the middle of the night last night. Let's see. Um... New Zealand's opposition leader calls for delay of next month's election. Some political bullshit in New Zealand. This thing. 
Got a little ball kick there. Wow. Huh. I haven't been following the election too closely, mainly because I feel like the lady who runs New Zealand um, is a ledge. Um, how could you not re-elect her? Anyway, I haven't followed it too closely, but it looks like there's some political problems there. Aussie also got a little bit of a ball kick. These next two points are risk-off points, right? 70, 77 in Aussie. 65, 04 in Kiwi. Probably want to touch before you start screwing around with these levels. Um, we'll see. Dollars are traded down to 40. We talked about not screwing around in the top. You know, once this turn looked like it's going to happen, you say, all right, let's let this come down tw at least 20% of the move. Um, it's not like I was on the bid at, at 1742, but it's weird how it went basically 20% of the move. Um, this could easily go lower if stocks go higher obviously stocks turned yesterday um, we're at 33.32 now but we did a little 60 handle jingle bell um, at the end of the day yesterday which kind of helped dollars are the problem here with dollars are even with euro going lower um, is that if we get higher rates in the US the gap between rates in, in South Africa and the US just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks because South Africa has been cutting their own rates hysterically, um, basically taking away one of the big drivers of owning their currency, which is yield. Um, so we still like this higher. Looks like it's just going to dick around. You might want to chuck in, I don't know, bids between 40 and say 33 tactically today. Uh, we'll get some more consolidation and this will decide what she wants to do um, as the equity market decides what she wants to do. Uh, maybe Friday is going to be the day that um, we're either knocking on all-time highs or we're getting the shit kicked out of us um, at say 3250. So just be patient. Look for more consolidation in RAND, but you want to stick in low ones. I don't see any reason how the how South African RAND as a currency can go up. Um, anyway, dollar CAD, not doing too much, not following too much, not following Kiwi or Aussie as aggressively. Um, oil came down a fair bit with this stock move. Are we ever gonna get down to 150? 150, 50 in EuroCAD? I don't know. I haven't looked at EuroCAD in a while. Anyway, not much, not much there. Uh, let's look at gold. Boom! Support in gold's 1850. Got down to 74. This is the gold futures. This is, uh, I believe, the September contract. Uh, what are we trading in front now? GCZ. Whatever the fuck Z is. It's probably August contract. Um, 1850. Between 1850 and 1830. Uh, good, good support in gold. And if you, uh, if you need to sort of nibble on uh, longs, that's your spot. You got to be super careful though because uh, if U.S. rates decide to plow higher, shock the world. Uh, gold will continue lower, but first time down, say eighteen thirty fifty, is is a buy. Crude. This chart is destroyed because of that one day. Bit of a turn bar here. You're in the middle of nowhere. No, no trading in crude at the moment. No real idea what's going on there. Um, focus today will be this uh, one seventeen, the figure area. See how the euro um, deals with that. And then the fixed income markets, ZBZN, BTBs, pick your poison, trade them all, um, short, see how we go. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.